dearest God, Goddess, all that is, please grant me the grace of mercy that I may hold each person, place, and thing on my path as sacred. Help me dwell in the grace of mercy, just as I would appreciate the grace of mercy from others. Thank you. So would it be. Amen. When I first started working with these graces, I began with the seven main graces, one for each chakra, but I started investigating and I was absolutely led to others. The grace of mercy is one that made sense and connected with me. And it's no surprise that, at least in the curriculum that I was put through, that it would be paired with the grace of piety in the second chakra. My immediate experience with it? The grace of mercy was mercy to myself. I can be hard on myself in that way, even spiritually. My spiritual practice is rigorous, partially because of what I do for a living. And that is second chakra, how I make my money to keep that honorable. But I remember the tears of relief as the grace of mercy flooded through my nervous system. It was an experience I'll never forget and have experienced again in lesser degree since. So I look at what does mercy really mean? And I've come up with two different things that feel right for me. One is to give relief. The other is to spare suffering. So if someone is in pain and you can put them out of their misery, to ease, to soothe, to show mercy in that way, as well as to spare someone the suffering, to show them the mercy of perhaps not speaking the truth to them without compassion, to be merciful in that moment. So now breathe, and bring your focus down to your second chakra. I often sit with my left hand about two inches under my navel with my right hand on top of it, palms inward. And as you focus your awareness in your breath, just feel the breath gently move its way all the way down deep into the belly. Really drawing your focus and your energy right into the heart of the second chakra. Deep within is from this place I offer this prayer. Dearest God, Goddess, all that is, flood me with the grace of mercy. Let it saturate every cell, every tissue, every organ, every system, every emotion trapped, every lesson to be learned, that I may know from the soul's perspective the vision of the gods that we've done nothing we are divine beings in a physical construct to learn, to heal, to grow, and to evolve. And that the fast track for this growth and evolution is often through one-on-one -on -one relationships. Let this grace flow through me, that I may be a blessing on all of my one-on-one -on -one relationships. First, by embodying the grace of mercy, by being merciful with whatever rises up within me to heal. Whether it be physical, emotional, mental, or even spiritual, let this grace be by my side, and then within me, to heal what rises. Let this be my end of the tug of war with my judgments that I may more clearly hear the grace within me, the guidance within, as I breathe this grace in, sending it down 
and out to one person that comes to mind. I bless you with the grace of mercy, beyond knowing, beyond reason. You've done nothing wrong, and neither have I. May this grace of mercy heal us both. God, Goddess, all that is. My guides, my masters, my teachers, may all of us be reminded that the moment a judgment rises into our awareness, that it is not our judgment alone, but something floating in the air, floating in the collective. Grant us that grace to remember that is passing through us to be healed, and that as we extend this grace of mercy to each and every person we meet silently and gracefully, that we let others off the hook, and we are let off the hook all the same.